Hello, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Because we're listening for what? We're listening for love. How are you doing? If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, sharing space with me, and being here. So with that being said, if you like tarot and you like Oracle and you like to have a good time, you should head on over to Instagram on Tuesdays. We do live readings, okay, uh, for happy hour. Come by, hang out with us, and join the fam. Now, for all my returning family members, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. <coughs> I hope everybody is doing super fantabulous. The way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general, a singles, a couples, and in all signs. And everything will be time stamped. Now, let's jump into it, baby. Oh, and if you'd like to get a reading with me, come on over to my link tree because I will not message you because I work like three jobs and I'm always busy. So these reads are always late, guys. And I like to talk a lot. So if I talk a lot, I'm sorry, I just talk a lot. We will be friends though, all right? All right. Now, <laughs> I love Leos because I can be myself with you guys. And yes, I do have ADHD really bad. And I don't take anything for that other than the love of my children. <laughs> so let's talk about the energies that are going on over here. November 1st, we had a new moon in a Scorpio. Yes, we did. And that was a very intense energy. Uh, nine degrees Scorpio. And your message, I am using a new deck that I got at a botanica called Loteria Remedios by Selena Gonzalez. And wow, amazing. Just an amazing deck. I recommend it. Adds a lot of depth. So Loteria is a game that a lot of Latinos play. We used to play it for everything, okay? It was just a fun, fun game for us. It's like our way of playing bingo. But... She has this way of making the cards come to life. When I was little, I used to pretend to read them like tarot cards. I had no idea what I was doing. Anyways, your message for the first is El Corazón, right? It is time to get to the heart of the matters, my Leos. There are some changes. There are some things that need to happen. There are some things that need to release, especially karmically, that we need to let go of. But overall, this energy is telling you, let's get to the heart of it. Let's heal. Let's grow. Let's develop. Let's make those changes that need to happen. Also, take care of your heart, okay? Take lots of garlic. Now, November 2nd, Mercury enters into Sagittarius. Conversation is going to get colorful, fun, and um, a little bit off the charts, okay? Now, on the 3rd, Mars the planet of action decision making is going to be in the sign of leo so guess what we're being bold we're being proactive and we're making things happen okay ain't no way but a leo way and on the 11th happy veterans day to everyone who served serving or who is going to serve may you be blessed my father is a veteran i wrote an essay for him when i was in high school or, or about him and i got a scholarship so veterans hold a very important place for me um, my dad was able to become an amazing person and a wonderful dad and a great provider uh, thanks to that and he served in Korea. Now also on the limit is my baby girl's birthday so she will be turning a 16 year old so wish my little Scorpio happy birthday and we also have Venus entering into Capricorn that day so Venus is planet of love entering into the sign of stability predictability and responsibility. Yes, it is time for it to make sense. If it don't make sense, it don't make dollars and Capricorn ain't playing. Not to tell you that Capricorns be looking hella good during this time too. Now, on the 15th, Saturn goes direct, okay? Whoo, just be ready. Shenanigans are going to be exposed. And we have the full moon in Taurus, 24 degrees. Okay, we have this wonderful card right here. La Muerte, this is the death card, okay? This energy is coming in to say, Leo, look. During this full moon, you need to realize that the sun is always going to shine because it's you. But you are not dead, you are not dying, and you are living, and you got everything to live for. Come out of that hole, let the sun shine on you, and go conquer the world. I know there has been some really heartbreaking things lately that could have been happening to you. You could be going through a lot, but you are amazing. You are strong, and this is a reminder of how strong you are because of your heart. You are loving, you are light. This is the energy that you can rise above it all okay and you make it look so easy all right now on the 19th we have the full moon i mean we have the pluto entering into aquarius pluto this planet of <laughs> Woo! you know everything's being brought to light with pluto pluto ain't playing with nobody and aquarius is all about exposing so let's say this um, during this time, I'm going to say it's going to be very, I've got my hair everywhere. It's going to be very important for you to um, keep your vibration high. Take a break. 
because there's going to be so many revelations and so many things that are coming out right now that you have got to focus on what makes you happy. All right. Remember, happiness is a choice. We have to like change our perception sometimes. And yes, we're all going through things, maybe some not as bad as others. We don't have to compare, but we have to remind each other that we're living, we're together and we're going to make it. All right. On the 21st, it's Sag season. Call up that sexy Sagittarius. And let's go have a drink. All right. Now on the 25th, prepare yourself. Buckle up, buttercup. We got the Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius. It is going to be one hell of a doozy of a month. All right. I call this nasty November. Okay. It is a time of exposure, change, and good times. Because guess what? Something is coming to the light because it needs to be seen. Once it's seen, the thing is, what are you going to do with it? And how are you going to handle it? Okay, let's move forward. Let's talk about these oracle cards here. We have your astrological card is that of the eighth house, okay? Ruled by Scorpio. Scorpio season is going to be a time of transformation for you. Um, the eighth house also rules taxes, death, um, transformation. I know I'm missing some things because I haven't talked about this in a while. Intimacy, sex, trauma, psychological issues, uh, finances, debt, other people's monies, investments, and the occult. So you might be wanting to like study astrology, astro astrology, um, tarot cards, things like that. Or you might just be getting into like some kind of different stuff spiritually. Overall, when it comes to your love life, you are learning that you are the creator of your destiny. You are the high priest. You are pulling things into control. This falcon here is telling you, go forward, be brave, and do not give up. Go after exactly what you want, need, and desire. You also have the energy of the karmic trenches, which came out with the heart. So this is not going to be a fun time, Leo, because this is a time for you to look in the mirror and ask yourself, why am I repeating patterns? Why do I keep finding the same thing over and over? Because you aren't healing, okay? So <laughs> it is time to heal that heart. It is time to say, look, I normally would do this, but you know what? I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do something different and go for that, all right? Your next um, energy for love is that of the, and this could also be dealing with the fourth house issues, okay? So there are some karmic things going on in your home life. Also, April 27th could be important. Now, is there April 27th? I don't know. Anyways, or April 9th. Now, on this energy here, which is interesting, because because this is telling you you're going to rise above, you have the divine um Physician coming through. Maybe you've had some health scares. Maybe you need to pay more attention to your health. Maybe you need to start paying attention to your heart. Maybe you need to start listening to your heart and putting yourself first. Maybe you need to lead with your heart. But there's also a mentor, a guide, someone who wants to come in and say, Hey, Leo, I got you. Don't worry about that. Let me show you how you do that. Let me show you how this happens. Let me, let me guide you on these things. So there's a lot about healing this month for you and moving forward. Let's get into this read, guys. Let's get into it, like Sloan says. All right, let's see, let's see. What do we have for a general read for you guys? What do we have? We have, it's a yes. <laughs> Whatever it was, it's a yes. All right, luck is on your side. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be thinking about you, or you could have that in your chart. A lot of it. There's a confession. I think Scorpio got that too. And you need to be, you need a little take it easy, you know? You know, take your time. Don't go too fast. You need more information. That is like the worst thing to tell a Leo. Slow down. Don't do that. And then we're like, I want to do it more now. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <coughs> what are we saying yes to? Our worth, our self-value, we're putting ourselves first, we're doing the shadow work, we are cutting ties with a possible air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we're moving on from that, and we're moving forward. The confession is, we we found out there might be like some other energies around the corner, something trying to sneak into our relationships, and you know what? We're moving on. And, Wow. Snake in the grass. We have, we need to watch the company we keep, Leo. All right? So it's telling you to slow down, caution, girl with a snake, charmed or enable your boundaries. You need to make this person work for it. We are not the other person. We are the main character. All right? We are the main character here. So there's a situation that we're finding out our worth. We're cutting ties with something that doesn't put us first. And we're, we're going to let the snake have them. All right? <laughs> Listen to, what is that? La India. Okay? Mi mejor vengancia. <laughs> Go ahead. Take it all, Boo Bear. You think you're winning. All right. Let's see what we got in our general read. We have here the Five of Pentacles. Oh, we're not. We're a little sad, Leo. Oh, okay. But we're going to be in our heart space. 
we got our heart ready. We're like, you know what? I'm a little sad, you know? Maybe my knee's a little tight, all right? But we're healing. We're definitely healing. We're moving forward. And love is on the way with the Ace of Cups. Overall energy, we're going to go for it. <laughs> That's the thing about a Leo, guys. You will knock us down. You will break our hearts. And then the next day, we'll be like, you know what? I'm ready to fall in love again. <laughs> we're like, sure, that sounds great. And, of course, here's the devil. All right. Because <laughs> we just can't win for losing. So here's this beautiful energy. We feel a little bit torn up. There was a situation that we're like, whoa, there was some sneaky actions going on and possibly by the king of swords, okay? This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then we already knew. <clears throat> you already knew, my friend. <laughs> you already knew. But you know what? You're like, okay, look, that happened. I'm moving forward. I'm going to open up my heart. I'm going to heal. I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to cut that off. I'm not going to do the same karmic cycle of go back, come back. Da, 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 da. No, just cutting it off to get my Ace of Cups with my Page of Pentacles. And I'm going to start fresh and I'm going to start new. Leo, you are initiating new steps. You're moving forward. And that is a very beautiful energy. I want to see the energy with this star card. The star says it's time to, to make a decision. Uh, you know who has the key to your heart. There he is, the King of Cups. We have a divine pair coming in. You know, you know what you want. You want your little sweetie pie, okay? And he said, look, baby, you got the red cup. I got the red cup. I got the sun over here. It's a yes. Behind it is the page of cups. You better watch out now. You better watch out, Leo. You're going to have a baby. <laughs> Why are you so sad? Go for the new cup. You have to make that choice, all right? You have to make that choice to walk away from the things that keep you in the past, that karmic cycle. So this is very much about a month of choices for you. There's a lot of energy saying that it's time for you to get out of your own way. And you know, it's time to enable your boundaries, stand up for yourself and cut ties with those things that are no longer for you. You do have a possible water sign possibly I'm trying to swim over to you, baby, because you look so damn good. You know you do. You know you do, all right? But let go of those things that do not serve you, all right? It is time for that. All right, let's jump into, my hair's driving me crazy today, sorry. It's driving me crazy, hold on. Oh, all my face and stuff. All right, let's get into singles. Singles and ready to what? Mingle. I have a hair on my face, it's gonna bother me. Okay, okay, hold on. Ugh. Let's see here. It's getting on my nerves. Probably get on your nerves too, and I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see here, singles. What do we have here? We have here the honeymoon phase. Oh, baby, might even be going to a wedding. Open up your heart. All right. And it's not the right time. All right. Overall energy. There is a spy. Somebody's watching. What's going on? I spy with my little eye. Okay. What do we spy? What do we spy? Let's see, what does the honeymoon card want you to know? All right, you're going to be partying. You might be invited to a lot of parties, weddings, <clears throat> engagements. It's time with friends. It's time to go out and enjoy yourself. Open up your heart. There's an insane chemistry coming in, a lot of passion coming in. And what are we saying no to? No to someone that does not see our worth, okay? That they don't understand our alone time. I hate that. Spay. <laughs> This spy is like, when, when am I going to get Leo? Okay, when am I going to get Leo? I want Leo. What is going on? Leo looks good. Of course Leo looks good. Leo's freaking amazing, guy or girl or spy. Whatever. Let's see. Should we get a description on who's spying? Just because I'm nosy. Let's see who's spying on Leo. Who is the spy? Let's see. Might be another Leo, someone who's very young, youthful, fresh face, all right? Um, Pisces energy, maybe dark brown hair, light brown hair, something like a brownish hair, colored eyes possibly, and ZD vibes, okay? Very, very much like an older, mature kind of energy. Could have gray hair, Capricorn energy, or like um, interesting hair. <laughs> more clues on the spy more clues on the spy what do we have they watch your social media 
Okay, they want your social media from a fake page, like from a Finster or something, you know, something fake, because they're trying to conceal themselves. And if this message is for you, you're seeing the number 444 quite a bit. All right, and <laughs> they do it at night, okay? That's when they're watching your stories at night. You used to feel very safe with this individual. Uh, you possibly went out with this person like on a rainy day or something, but yeah, they're watching you a lot. In case, Spy, what would you like to say to us? What do you want to say to our Leos? I'm ready to take my mask off. Okay, so they might be telling you who they are soon. You tame my demons, okay. And you deserve better than them. Oh, you probably deserve better than the spy. And I'm afraid I lost you forever. So this person is sitting in... Uh, whoa, they don't know what to do. They're afraid their Leo has moved on. You probably have. <laughs> Leo's like, yeah, I did. I did. All right. <clears throat> Let's see, Leo. How are we doing? We have here the Knight of Wands. You've been going out a lot, enjoying yourself, feeling yourself. You're trying to find your spark again, doing different things. You look good, too, all right? And you're still a little sad. You're like, okay, I gotta let this go. I gotta move on. I gotta do better. I gotta stop. I want something new and fresh. I'm gonna manifest the best. I'm gonna try with this Ace of Wands energy, okay? We're gonna manifest. We're gonna call it in. We're gonna, you know, that's the second Queen of Cups. So let's talk about the attributes of the Queen of Cups. This is a woman who is very nurturing, very caring, very kind, loving. Um, this is who you go to when you have a bad day. This is like heart space love, okay? So this is you manifesting your heart space. And I'm gonna say you might find out about the spy this month. And there they are. <laughs> so the devil came out like that in the last read too. So the devil and the seven of swords, I think you're gonna find out that this person who is watching, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Like when you had me back then, you didn't want me, now I'm hot, you're all up on me. Mike Jones, what's going on? <laughs> what is your deal? Leave this Leo alone and they wanna live their happy life. But you know, Usually the ones that are the spies and very tempting and all that stuff, they, you know, they're really pretty good in bed, but you gotta be careful, friend. Don't be connecting your energy with all that vibe, okay? Let's get into this read. <laughs> Singles, what? The drama, wow. Okay, Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands. Ah! Whoa, okay, I gotta cover this part. We have the devil energy, and he says, look at what I got. Look at what I got, okay? <laughs> So you're looking good that you got the double devil, okay? <laughs> Two different decks. Devil said, look, look, look at look, look what I got. And you're like, okay, that looks like fun. So you might indulge in the three of cups energy with that, okay? You might have a little, a little fun time. But then you're like, okay, this is not what I want. I don't want this. I the five of cups. I'm going to let that go. <laughs> They're not happy that you let that go. Mm, letter. They're mad. We don't even talk anymore. They don't talk to you, but they're watching you and they miss you and they don't know what to say to you. You got the double seven of swords, the double devil. I, whew, Lord. And you're a cold blooded girl. You like, I'm a cold hearted snake. You shouldn't have put me in the trifecta, okay? You shouldn't have put me as an option. So now you gotta watch me. All right, watch me live my best life, okay? And Leo, the one thing about a Leo, we could, we could have the worst day, we could have the most worst day, feel the worst about ourselves, but we smiling and we still thriving and we look amazing, but inside we could be a mess. But they would never know. This person is a damn dirty liar. What does this Ace of Wands want you to know? The wheel, it's time to move on. Boop, it's time to go. It is time to go. Ten of Cups. If if you don't want to be with me and you don't want to commit to me, then you can go. There's a double 10 here. There's something good coming in for you at work. And uh, it's, a, it's a celebration, baby. Okay? It's a celebration. You are going to be seeing the number 111. All right? There's a lot of ones in your read. And 777. Seven, seven. <laughs> There's a little, little sneakster. The Queen of Cups wants you to know you're the Empress. You know, I'm going to share this with y'all. I'm very mean to myself sometimes. I'm not always the kindest. Um, 
I say some things to myself and my, my inner monologue isn't always the nicest. And I watched a, a reel one day and she was talking about how she was telling a little girl like, shouldn't wear that shirt out, honey. It looks ugly and you're disgusting. You know what? You don't even deserve to go to this concert. You should just stay home. And that really got to me. Like, it really got to me because sometimes I was like, how could you say that to a kid? Like, what's wrong with you? And she goes, true story. I didn't say that to anyone, but that's what I used to say to myself. And I was like, whoa. And that hit like really, really hard because, you know, like we all have our inner monologue. And I think it's time for you to start nurturing yourself and to start being kind to yourself. And I think we should start this as a team because I need to do it too. Um, this is about you really realizing your worth. You know, yeah, you're sexy, you're all that, but you are empress. You're creative, you're beautiful. You know what? And you got the magical Toto. So anybody who wants to get in this portal, they got to be special. Okay, with no seven of swords energy. No seven of swords. Know your worth. Seven of swords wants you to know, four of pentacles, you're bored with that spy anyways, okay? And justice will be served because you're going to serve them the plate of justice, okay? And they're going to watch you from a distance with the hangman. I kind of feel like in this situation, this person had an opportunity to be with you. could be dealing with a Libra or a Pisces or a Capricorn. Okay, sun, moon, or rising. Either way it goes, whatever their sign is, what this person does is they like to come in and promise you the sun, moon, and stars and give you nothing but caca. Okay? This is boo-boo. Basura. Lies. Okay? Liar. This is also a very karmic relationship. What does the devil want us to know? Shh, let's not talk about it. Nine of Wands. But something has to change. And then you're like, I'm going to put myself first. So that's what it is. They just don't want you to talk about it. Don't bring up what I did to you. You know, I still, I'm, I'm still a good guy. We could still hang out. You can still let me hit it, you know? <laughs> We're a lot of fun together. Yeah, Leo, it's a blast. But Leo wants love. Leo wants to be cared for. Leo, you had the Queen of Pentacles come out for you. Know your worth. The Queen of Cups come out for you. Trust your heart. And the Queen of Swords. Cut them off so quick that they can't come back, baby. My cutoff game? Pretty good. When they block you, I block you everywhere. And I don't care. Because I've given you plenty of opportunity to make it right. And with that karmic card coming out for you with your heart, it is time to change the story. Double devil, double seven of swords. You know who that person is. Cut them off. They can't even watch you live your best life. Because then they send you negative vibes, okay? And we're not doing it. So you're cutting that off. You're going to go for the passion. You're going to go for the love. And you're going to start trusting yourself and loving yourself because you deserve better, okay? You deserve better. Whoo! Lord, I'm sweating over here. No to the spy. No to the spy. No, 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 okay? So let's see who's coming in for you. Who's coming in for you? Who's coming in for you? How do they look? Let's see. The good one, okay? We have a Scorpio energy. This person has like dark eyes. They have a significant tattoo, okay? Even a mark on the face, yeah. Cancer energy, they're very curvy, all right? Very curvy. Cancer energy with the moon, okay? Beautiful skin, old school looking, very handsome or beautiful. Colored eyes here with the clover, green, hazel, brown hair, Sagittarius energy. And then the clouds, okay? Gray hair, two-tone hair, blue-green eyes, Pisces energy. Lots of watery energy coming in. Like, I feel like your king of cups wants to come visit you. All right, let's see here. What is the energy? What do we have with the Skype? What do we have with the Skype? What do we have here? We have a dresser. Hey there, good looking. Um, 10, 16 could be important. Anyways, this person dresses well, okay? Big ZD Kane over here. Their shoes, there's something about their shoes, all right? They are very sexy. July 11th could be important. <clears throat> Then we have um, the ladder. So this person could be very tall or this person is climbing the corporate ladder. This person could work outside. They're like very handy. <laughs> I like handy. And 
The color green is significant. This person watches your page a lot, okay? They're like always wondering what you're doing. They want to hop on your lily pad, if you know what I mean. All right. And then we have the succulent. So this person is also like very much into like natural things. They could be very much into herbs. They like to talk about stuff with you. They want to see if this is going to grow. All right. What do the cats say about this individual? Don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle, okay? And uh, don't forget Leo, you rock. One more, one more. And you got this, okay? So don't go for the old person. And Scorpio is very strong in your read. It could just be that Scorpio season is really going to be your time to shine, your time to change some patterns, and your time to realize that you're the damn dirty um, main character, okay? You are that girl, okay? Guide, guidance for Leo. <clears throat> Let's see here. It's coming. We got a relationship. The 14th could be important. I already got that down. Um, you're a little bit anxious. <laughs> Romance is here, baby. The number 333 three, three could be very important for you. Overall energy. Just look for the possibilities. <clears throat> Let's get guidance. All right. What is this caring connection about? Caring connection said, but know your boundaries. We're not moving too fast. We're just going a little take it easy, okay? A little take it easy. There is some anxiety about the truth. I feel like with vulnerability and really letting someone in, you're a little nervous. And then romance says, let's connect. Let's be together. Let's connect. And adjacent possibilities is saying, look, if it doesn't work with that one, move on to the next. Thank you, next. Okay? All right. Now it's time for us to move into our couples. What do our couples got going on? Wow, because I feel like I've been talking for a really long time. Let me look at the time. Oh, Lord. I'm already on 30 minutes. Okay, let's see here. Couples, what do we have here? We have patience, a love spell, and trusting your intuition with a possible air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, let's see. What is the patience that we need? Not today. Put them boundaries up, baby. You are moving on. Some of y'all thought y'all were like cursed and you weren't, okay? Trust your intuition and know your worth. And there is an air sign that is going to be calling you very, very soon. All right, let's see. What do the cats say? Meow, 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 meow. What is Leo's person thinking? The sun. They see you. They, they love the truth about you. They love you. They're seeing that this can go somewhere with the three of wands. They see you as a seven wands. They, they feel like you're being a little rough around the edges, all right? Don't get close to me. Ew. <laughs> I need space. <laughs> all right, and the tower. I feel like something has been brought to the light. They don't know how they really feel about it. The five of swords is what comes between y'all. And then we make it all happen, Captain. It works out with the ten of cups. The page of cups is the overall energy. I feel like you feel like someone is being a little bit too nosy, a little too much in your business, and it can become a little bit much for you. <clears throat> okay, what does the sun want you to know? The king of wands. So they love how you're very passionate and caring. They love the communication between you guys. The three of wands wants you to know, yeah, it's moving a little bit slower than what you thought it would. And so they're afraid you're bored. Probably are. The Seven of Wands with the um, Hangman. I feel like with that, it's like you don't want to let this person in. King of Pentacles, you're about to get a raise or they are. Um, you don't want to let somebody in. You're just like, I could do that myself. <laughs> the Tower with the Ten of Cups. Look, there is a lot of talk about marriage, a lot of talk about children. I feel like it is a little scary for this person, but they're going to give in with the Four of Wands. They do want to get married, and maybe you don't want to get married, and that leads to the Five of Swords, a confrontation, right? But there's love there. There's love and there's passion. There is a conflict this month with the Tower and the Five of Swords, but we work it out. And there's also a new contract coming in with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups with that um, conflict. So there could be a sudden move because of work, because someone's getting promoted. There's also this thing about, look, I don't want to get married. And the other person's like, no, we get married. You're like, okay. Ten of Cups. What does the Ten of Cups want you to know? The Six of Pentacles. You're like, look, the song, can you meet me halfway? Six in my head. Anyway, Six of, with the Knight of Wands. Look, they're going to come out of nowhere. I feel like they're coming out of the dark. They're like, look, I love you. I don't know what I was thinking. I want this to work. Page of Cups says, let's do it with the Chariot. 
let's start this love adventure let's go for it because there was someone not telling the truth with the double seven what was that about the three of swords three of swords could be that there was a third party this could be family this could be another person but it was brought to the light and ultimately they want to be your king of cups <clears throat> that is a third king in your read this is also telling me that there is major promotion for you at work or recognition at work for you or your partner. There's this discussion also of like maybe things are working out the way that you want them to work out. So be very patient in this. But something is being brought to the light. And remember, this is tarot and everyone, this is not a personal reading. So if it does not fit, it does not fit. Whatever it is that you're, just take your time, trust your intuition, especially if you're dealing with an air sign, okay? Especially if you're dealing with an air sign. Let's see if there's any hidden messages for you. Where did those cards go? Hold on. I just lost a whole deck of cards. Are you kidding me? Am I crazy? Oh, there they are. Okay. Anything that they don't know that they need to know. The mountain. There's a block because of an enemy. A very beautiful enemy. But you're very committed. There's something about a beautiful contract and a, and a commitment that is key in this situation. And you're going to come out on top. So I do think that you have someone who's trying to come in the middle of something, but it's not going to work going to be brought to the light what is the message for them change the way you talk about things ask your spirit guides to jump in and think about the long run the endurance you're going to need and focus on abundance remember if it doesn't make sense it's time to go venus and capricorn all right so let's see let's go to the all signs because i've just been talking way too much way too much okay venus and capricorn energy what is that about <laughs> let's see. all right let's see leos with signs leos with the signs let's see overall energy what do we have here we have the two of cups reversed but you're coming out on top you're making major decisions that you didn't want to tell somebody about major days for you leo the fourth the fifth Fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the ninth, the tenth, the fourteenth, and twenty-seven. Number three, 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 and eleven, eleven, and seven, seven, seven. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Here you are, Leo. You are not playing any games with nobody. You are the queen of swords. You are in your power. Aries found something out about Aries, or they found out something about you. The chariot. You have the victory. They feel bamboozled. Okay, they're also trying to keep you because of money, a financial situation. The second could be very important. Here you are as the Eight of Pentacles. You are working on things. You are, you're really making things happen. <coughs> Taurus is out of love. You're tired of spinning your wheels. And they are neglecting their feelings. Um, the double eight, you could be seeing 88 a lot. Uh, the 17th could be important or 888. You don't want to talk about it anymore. You don't want to be about it. Gemini feels like it's going nowhere with the Six of Wands. We are hoping for the best. And there is a fresh start, okay? There's a fresh start coming in for you guys. The fourth could be important. You feel stuck. The wheel ain't going in the direction you want to go. And Cancer is like, get over here. It's my way or the highway. <sighs> Vulnerability is going to be key. And <clears throat> there's a lot of things that we need to talk about with cancer. Maybe it's bad spending habits. Maybe it's the way they communicate. But it's not working out. Okay? The energy, uh, pay attention to the six. I also feel like Aries is being very, not Aries, um, cancer is being very um, critical of you. You're tired of fighting. And the other Leo wants to. <laughs> Wants to have a good time. Ten of Wands. They want to give you the the the, the pee pee of a snake, okay? Because that's what he has. Pazuzu wants to get you to yeah, Pazuzu. We're not talking to them, and we feel attacked. And there's something about a trip, okay? There's something about a trip. Uh, the sixteenth could be important. You feel imbalanced, and Virgo is praying. You're also wondering about what they said or a financial situation, and you're tired of fighting. Um, Virgo is being very, uh, that's my boundary, <laughs> like, 
and they're acting like they don't even care. They got their poker face on, so they don't even know what's going on with you. Your lucky day is the first. You don't even want to talk anymore in the streets, in the streets, nowhere. You done. You putting them on silent. And Libra is not even praying for the situation anymore. Something was revealed. The moon is reversed. And we want a fresh start. A fresh start without them. You are done with the Libra because they were mirroring you. Okay? A lot of inner wounds going on there. A lot of pain. The 12th could be important. You are being a little impatient with temperance reversed. Sagittarius is being impulsive and wants to work their magic stick. Um, you don't feel stable and secure in this situation, and it's a no. Not going for that, Sag. The third could be important. Here you are as the king of swords. Take Wait, what is it? Like, um, cutting up and taking names? Like, we ain't even dealing with it, baby. We is large and in charge, okay? And Capricorn isn't moving. They're not talking. They're not doing nothing. So we're going to pray. Okay, we're going to pray. And we got to take control of the situation. Capricorn is kind of done because there was a little bit of a competition that you didn't know about, okay? A little snaky poo. Here you are, full of red flags or like picking them up and making a sweater. And Aquarius says, I ain't gonna change. <laughs> Death card reversed. There needs to be a major decision and there is no stability here. The 15th could be important. Here you are healing. You're trying to do your best. Pisces is trusting their intuition. Okay. We want justice to be served, and it's going to be okay. We're going to remember how much we loved each other. You and a Pisces got it going on, baby. Your lucky day is the 10th. All right, Leo, I know I talked your ear off. I hope you have a beautiful month. Come hang out with me on Instagram. Stay blessed, and remember, know your worth. Love you.